get that Europe is after five packages of harsh sanctions, crushing sanctions, where, where we would have agreed on everything. And now the oil embargo, it's a, it's a contentious point, I, I reckon. The earlier sanctions were relatively straightforward vis-a-vis -vis the really difficult one, which was oil. I agree with you. Oil is absolutely right. critical. This and, is why Poland is working towards unity around oil embargo as well. Well, I assume your good friend Viktor Orban, has, you've been on the phone to him. And so yes, Victor, absolutely. Well, need... that's correct. Not only him. Let's imagine there are a couple of countries which do not have access access to the to the sea coast: uh, Hungary, Czech, the Czech Republic, Slovak Republic, uh, Austria. So I can imagine that we can uh, have a compromise. Uh, amongst the 27 countries so that the oil embargo is imposed more quickly and some bottlenecks uh, for, for them uh, can be eliminated with the help of the um, uh, European budget. Right, so that's a very diplomatic way of saying well, it's, I mean, it's, it's really what the price is. It's what the price to buy Orban's agreement you say about uh, Prime Minister Orban, I, I say about a, a couple of countries. Some, some countries hide behind his back. Yes. I reckon that's correct. Maybe they are not as vocal as, as Hungary, but really there are a couple of countries wh wh which do, do have issues with oil uh, delivery, uh, eliminating bottlenecks. So if we talk about the, the next stage of sanctions, the most critical, confiscating oligarchs money, confiscating Russian Federation assets, because this is the real pain which Russia is going to feel and the perpetrator should bear the cost of the war. This is what President Zelensky said yesterday. Take the assets and use it to help reconstruct. Absolutely. This is what I'm saying for last three months. Well, all the sanctions are important, but if we really want the sanctions to be painful for the aggressor, for the war cr criminals, we should seize, we, we, we should seize the assets of, of, of the Russian Federation. Prime Minister, isn't that something that's easy to say and difficult to do, either for legal reasons, ownership reasons? We've seen it with the yachts. For goodness sake, we can't work out who owns them. These are war criminals, the oligarchs. So if, if, if a war criminal is using some of the, his, his assets, according to Polish law and as far as I know, many other legislative legislations in other jurisdictions, you, you are able to seize those assets. There is a view that the longer this war goes on, then it really becomes the price upon which people allow Russia to claim a victory of some sort or another. Do you know, after the spring, when you've got inflation and you've got hardships at home. Richard, uh, Putin and the Kremlin have time. The, 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 the totalitarian regimes have, are much more patient than democracies. This is why you and me, we have to work to make the public opinion aware of what is happening uh, in Ukraine, really. Because we, we could think, like you, we, sometimes historians say, that you know, there was this appeasement of, of Hitler. And Hitler did not stop. And some people would have hoped that he, Hitler would be stopping. He had not stopped with Austria, Czechoslovakia, Poland. He took France and one country after another. With Putin, is the same. Everybody should be aware of this. But do you fear war fatigue, that eventually people start to say, bring it to an end. If he wants Donbass, give him Donbass. And I wish them, for all the ordinary people in our countries, right. not to get uh, tired with this war. Because I see the fatigue. You, you're, you're right. We have to also give them uh, some, um, you know, m m some medicine, inverted commas, uh, to ease the pain. Inflation is very high in the States, in Germany and in Poland, in many other countries. So we are doing everything possible to lower the inf inflationary pressures and at the same time for those who are most vulnerable to give uh, some money and, and, and help them to go through this difficult period.